In this video, I'll be covering all the basics inside of Google Classroom and stick around towards the end as I'll be sharing some of the best tips for using it. So what is Google Classroom? Google Classroom is an online workspace where teachers can set work, homework, or even to give feedback. This makes work more accessible and eliminates the forgetting homework at home excuse. So how do you access Google Classroom? To do this, all you need to do is open Google Chrome, and then what you want to do is go up to the top right and click on the nine dots. Following this, it will open up a navigation bar, and all you need to do is click on this icon, which says Classroom. Once your Google Classroom is open, you'll be able to access all of your classes and homework. But how do you look for work? There are a plethora of different ways you can search for work. For example, underneath some of the lessons, it will say if you have any self-study due and what date it will be due in. But there's another way you can do this. Right at the top left, there's this button here which says to do. If you click on this, it will give you a list of all of your work in categorical order of when they're due in, as you can see here. So this is what students will see when they click on an assignment. You'll have your main content here, which the teacher will attach any resources required or just for instructions on what the homework is. And then students have the ability to attach work or to create documents up here. At the top right of this box, you can see the words assigned, and that means that it's due in soon. If your homework is overdue, it will say missing in red font over here, so that you know that it's missing. But how do you hand in work? To hand in work, all you need to do is click the blue mark as done button at the bottom. Now, as you can see at the top right, it's now changed it to handed in. The next feature inside of Google Classroom is the ability to open documents. To open documents, all you need to do is click on it. For example, up here, I've got a PDF to open. And as you can see, it's now opened. But let's say it was an exam paper and I wanted to answer directly on the sheet. To do this, all I'd want to do is go up to the top where it says open with and click Google Docs. So those are all of the basics inside of Google Classroom. Now I'm going to give you a couple of tips on how to stay on top of your homework. The first tip is to write in a notebook or planner as you've got a physical reminder for you to do your work and what data will be due in. Another tip is to use a whiteboard or even Google Tasks. A whiteboard would be great if you have it in front of your desk or, or Google Tasks would be a great alternative since you can set deadlines on when those tasks are due. So those are all of the basics inside of Google Classroom. If you're interested in a playlist covering in more detail all of the basics as well as some more advanced features inside of Google Classroom, we've got a playlist showing on screen now on how to do that. Or for another video by Google Tutorials, click or tap the video shown on screen now. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you soon.